The Pittsburgh Steelers have the Atlanta Falcons coming into town um, on Sunday. And the Steelers have a lot of issues. On offense, they have been solid. But on defense, they have been horrendous. Um, I'm kind of pissed right now as a Steelers fan. We are sitting at 1-2-1. One, and, one, and right now we're tied for the Cle with the Cleveland Browns with the fourth place in the division. Or I, t I guess should... I guess I should say the Steelers are tied for third place in our division. I cannot remember the last time through a quarter of the season that the Pittsburgh Steelers were sitting at the bottom of the division. Um, if I do remember correctly, though, it was probably a few years ago when the Steelers went 8-8. Eight and eight. Um, They started the season 2-6 and six and would finish 6-2, and two, but that's beside the point. The Steelers are looking horrible right now. Let's get right into just how bad it's been this season and the next game for Pittsburgh coming up. The Pittsburgh Steelers, since the game where they put back-to-back -back cores of good play, and the Steelers have been atrocious. In the last two games, the Steelers have not scored in the second half. And the last time the Steelers did have a good start to the game was they've had two good cores of football this whole season back-to-back. -back. And beyond that, I think it's just been lopsided. They might have a good drive here, a good drive there. But beyond that, it's been a nightmare to watch the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is coming from a real Steeler fan. Um... It was against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' first half when we just lit up the scoreboard. Our defense was playing elite, crazy great. That's the only time also our defense was half good. Uh, we got 30 first half points. I was so excited at halftime. And then the second half, we looked like complete shit. Not only did Boswell miss a field goal, but Steelers didn't do anything offensively. And uh, this is second. The next week, we would also not score in the second half. So I just, I'm a little pissed as a Steelers fan. Obviously, going into the Falcons. Or uh, the Falcons coming down, I should say, is the Steelers have got to play good defense. And if we play good defense like we did, uh, even against Tampa Bay, or even half that good in the first half, the Steelers will win this game. Um, both teams, both the Atlanta Falcons and the St Pittsburgh Steelers, have horrific defenses, but both have prolific offenses. And I really think it's going to be a complete shootout because. Um, I don't know which defense is worse, probably the Steelers, um, and which offense is better, Julio Jones versus AB. AB has been quiet up to this point, and Juju Smith has been taking up his role, um, but it's going to be exciting to see up to this point, Julio Jones, I believe, leads the lead league in yards, um, so right now he's playing a lot better, or he's getting the ball more than Juju, or than Antonio Brown is, uh, obviously that, hopefully that changes, I think it's going to be a shootout. Um, obviously, if the Steelers want to win, they got to play great defense like we did against Tampa Bay Buccaneers, or at least half decent, and we can win the game. Second key is that Ben has to be Ben. He has to do what he did last week in the first half where he threw for over 200 first half yards. If he can do that back-to-back -back quarters, or halves, I should say, the Steelers will win this game. Big Ben, starting this year, had three straight 300-yard games. That's the first time in his career he's put three straight back-to-back-to-back 300-yard games. Um, if he if Ben is good, the Steelers will win this game. Third and final key is special teams has to be good. Boswell has to be good. In the first three games of the season, Boswell looked really bad. Um, last week he looked pretty good. Boswell's game. Hopefully he's back on track. If the Steelers do these three things, I think they can win the the game. It's going to be a shootout, like I said, and I think with the Steelers being at home, we have the edge. But if our demons play sloppy, we're not winning this game. I give the edge, assuming they do all these three things, um, or even if they miss one and do the other two. I think the Steelers can win this game. It's going to be a shootout, like I said. I think the Steelers can win this game, thirty-eight to thirty-seven. It's going to be a great. It's going to be a close game. I think it's going to come down to who has the ball last. Um, it could be higher, maybe, but I think Steelers win 38-37. It's going to be a great game. Again, they cannot play sloppy defense. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you guys want more weekly content, uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, share this video so that more Steelers fans can enjoy commentary from me. I'll see you all after the game. Hopefully, it's going to be a W. I'll see you all later.